Denis Villeneuve's Dune was a successful $400 million franchise starter, thanks to avoiding one crucial mistake. Dune Part 1 released in 2021, and its success is largely due to Villeneuve's care and consideration in balancing the essence of Frank Herbert's novel with practical effects and sets and stellar casting. Although the film's opening title card stated Part 1, this is the first instance of its inclusion in the title, since all the marketing material simply called it Dune. It was not marketed as the start of a franchise. Although the need for Dune Part 1 to be financially successful in order to greenlight a sequel was still there, Warner Brothers allowed intrigue over sci-fi scope and storytelling to be the focus of the marketing strategy, with artful shots of sprawling dunes and smartly selected clips setting up a conflict for protagonist Paul Atreides to face. Although Dune Part 2 has been delayed, its success is expected based on the solid foundation the first film instilled in book fans and new movie fans. Not all multi-part film franchises have had the same good fortune, though, particularly when advertising the first part as a part one. For example, Allegiant was the part one adaptation of the Divergent franchise's final book. Its poor box office results led to part two, Ascendant, being cancelled. Most frustrations may not reflect financially at first, but rather when part two comes around, and audiences have lost interest after waiting a year or more for cliffhangers to be resolved, such as with The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, which was the lowest grossing Hunger Games movie. There are exceptions, of course, especially when a franchise is already successful prior to a book being split for film. For instance, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, at the time, was on track to have the franchise's biggest box office opening. Both parts ended up exceeding budget, with the second being the highest grossing film in the franchise. With a first installment like Dune, though, omitting part one until audiences were already in their cinema seats may have played a role in achieving box office results that helped secure a sequel.